Good morning, everyone. Nina here. I have um, a hot detox herbal tea. Uh, don't really know what's in it, but it's nice. And you can see it's cloudy, a little bit breezy, windy. You might hear the breeze. Um, and I wanted to share it with you this morning. Um, today I thought that uh, I would talk a little bit about something I also manage in confinement, which is um, self-perception. So clear seeing again, that viveka, as it relates to uh, autonomous understanding and understanding with those around us. So even the concept of projection. And especially with the sounds of the wind and how things can affect us um, with information intake, it's uh, a practice that I am actively working on and not always feeling like, you know, 100% successful, which is why this is always a practice, um, to take things in a way that feels like you're assuming the best of yourself. And if we can assume the best of ourselves, um, then we can assume the best of others. And it diffuses um, the way that our spheres affect us. Otherwise, um, a lot of times what happens is the resistance, right, comes from misunderstanding, the way we said something, taking it personally. And my mom actually uh, said something that was really powerful and, like, I appreciated it because it's something that I know, I'm, I'm a sensitive person, so um, she said to me the other day, she had gone and picked up something and uh, brought it back for, uh, from the grocery store and um, I was hoping for chia seeds, so they weren't there, and I asked her, I said, Mom, I hope, this isn't a criticism, but I just wanted to see were you able to, to get them, um, and usually I've been doing the groceries, so this time I, I was feeling a little um, overwhelmed, so she also wanted to go, so she went, and she said, I don't take your question as a criticism that I couldn't get them, <laughs> like, um, so for me, I went in probably maybe with a hint of criticism, like disappointment, like don't take this the wrong way, but did you not get what I asked you for? Um, and meanwhile, she's saying I, I wasn't able to, so why would I, why would I take it personally? Um, and I found that refreshing because it's true that sometimes even the simplest things can be taken in a way that um, wasn't intended. And it helped me to also think about the way that I'm saying something. Um, uh, my sister actually shared someone's meme, which was super funny, that said, um, you know, my, my wife and I are playing this game of why are you doing it this way? And there are no winners. So every small thing when we're in a state of confinement or closeness with other people becomes a, an opportunity to either have it go smoothly or take something personally and start um, an unnecessary battle. And in that way, um, we find that Viveka, clear seeing, is a nice practice, um, that quietness and awareness in meditation, so that we can be aware of the thoughts and the ripples across the mind. And there's so much, right, right now, for example, so much stimulation that the body and the brain actually filter these things for us so that all of the sensory stimulation that's happening right now is not something that I am actively processing and conscious of, right? If I were able to um, or wanting to take in every single vibration here, every color, every sensation, every everything around me, it would be overload. It would be nearly impossible to function. So there's actually this ability that's natural in the body that um, and in the in the brain that lets us filter it out and just focus on the things at hand. And that's why the practice of meditation is so cool um, and and important as a practice because sometimes we tend to take in too much or focus on all of the things or all of this kind of the thing and saturate our minds. Um, so with that, I thought that I would offer you a simple morning practice so you can come to sit simply. You can hold your warm drink in your hand if you like, 
which automatically sends the focus, right? The, the, the focus of your, the sensory stimulation to me right now is the warmth in my hands. And if you don't have that, you can also take the hands to your heart and you can feel the heartbeat. And you can also simultaneously from the chest, feel the hand pressing on the chest. And while you're in a state of coming inward, we call this pratyahara. So we're slowly coming into particular sensations and we slowly come back into the self, breathe in all the way. We're moving the sensation inward, so feeling the breath in the body, breathe out all the way. Feel it leave the system, <clears throat> the lungs soften. Breathe in, imagining a diaphragm dome-shaped muscle drawing down, you're expanding with breath. Breathe out, the diaphragm muscle contracts and the breath comes out of the system. Breathe in. Notice where the eyes might focus or not focus. Notice if they want to close, let any of them happen. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. And let it all go. So that might come easily or naturally to you, or that might involve you feeling your thoughts. And all of that's fine. There's got to be a way to begin, right? So <clears throat> if we were to say to anybody starting a new job or a new practice, um, you got to have it 100% right the first time. Like, that's unreasonable. <laughs> and some days are going to be easier than others. So that simple practice is something you can diffuse in the moment, any kind of tension. You can also start to go inward using that same breath practice and just coming into the sensation underneath all of the ripples. The ripples can be emotions, they can be thoughts in the mind, um, and we choose what we want to focus on. Sometimes what's good to do <clears throat> is when we feel like we have multiple triggers in the day and it's hard to identify, right, why am I feeling irritable today? It might relate to something from the past. Um, it might relate to something deep. Um, for me, for example, as I was meditating, you know, and as I was breathing with myself, I realized, okay, the chia seed thing <laughs> with my mom, why was it feeling like, I was saying it as like, I don't mean to criticize you, but, and you know, sort of still kind of criticizing, <laughs> was simply that um, I feel less ability to control my own independent circumstance. So I'm usually doing things on my own quite a lot and lately not sharing responsibility, staying with parents and wanting to have the things that I'm used to having. So it was something inside that was underneath and when I looked at the pattern of the rest of the day and things that might have affected me, it was really coming down to that. And I can just be nice to myself about it and move forward. So we'll practice that as well. We'll do the breath. And then you can see if you can drop inward just to the space, the sensation that might reveal something like that for you. So breathing in, sitting up tall. <clears throat> breathing out, letting it go. Maybe the eyes start to close. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. So staying with that sensation, the movements. You might even consider these movements parts of the ripple. Breathe out. There's still stimulation. 
Breathe in. And breathe out. You can stay with this practice of breathing in slowly, in and out. And you can focus on the breath. And you can start to play with this practice. <clears throat> Meditation, right? What more is it than simply mind training toward quietness, toward self and all. So you can bring your attention to heart center if you find that this feels like an emotional question for you. Um, or you could bring your attention to your third eye point. You could also bring your attention to the belly, wherever you feel like something is speaking to you in your system that you want to understand more. So continuing the breath. Every now and then just dropping into that place. That might reveal more for you. Just bringing your hand to your heart and to your belly just to create a nice sense of groundedness. You can stay there as long as you like in the practice. Otherwise, just to come out, regrounding with yourself. It's almost um, like a gentle embrace. Like, it's all right, there's a pandemic going on. There's a lot happening, it's okay. and then blinking the eyes open if they're closed. You can bring the hands, rub them together if you want. <clears throat> so coming out of Pratyahara is this practice of just rubbing, right? You can come back into sensory plane where we don't lose what we've practiced, right? Where we can use this to work with others to communicate. And sometimes it's, I'm big on communication that's gentle and honest. We don't have to communicate about everything that's the ticker in the mind. But when we can dip into that space that might be um, a recurring or root experience, it gives us the means to be able to identify it in everyday life. And then if necessary, we can share it um, with other people and ask to simply talk or maybe just say, this is a thing for me and I'm, I hope that you can understand if I'm particularly sensitive or maybe we don't bring up this particular subject right now seems to be something that's a little bit, you know, triggering for me. Um, and this can help diffuse circumstances. So I hope that you have a good rest of day. And uh, <clears throat> while the breezes and the winds come in and out, just remember, simple breathing, really powerful stuff. So have a good day.